interesting report from NASA, which states that there's a 12 percent chance for a catastrophic solar storm in the next 10 years. NASA says that if an asteroid big enough to knock modern civilization back to the 18th century appeared out of deep space and buzzed the Earth moon system, that the near miss would be almost instant worldwide headline news. Two years ago, Earth experienced a close shave that was just as perilous, but most newspapers didn't mention it. This was as an extreme solar storm, the most powerful in as many as 150 or more years. Daniel Baker of the University of Colorado says if it had hit, we would still be picking up the pieces. These solar storms begin with an explosion, a solar flare, and then X-rays and extreme UV radiation reach Earth at light speed. It ionizes the upper layers of our atmosphere. Side effects of this kind of solar EMP would include radio blackouts, GPS navigation errors. And then later, as the uh, energetic particles would arrive, we would see um, uh, magnetized plasma taking a, um, a following that a blast of magnetized plasma. And analysts believe that if we were to be directly hit by this succession, uh, that we could see widespread power blackouts. Everything that's plugged into a wall socket would be disabled. Most people wouldn't even be able to flush their toilets because urban water supplies largely rely on electric pumps. This would be catastrophic. And they've quantified this, Lewis, as a two trillion dollar potential incident or to say it another way, 20 times greater than the costs of Hurricane Katrina. What do you think about this, Lewis? Twelve percent chance over the next 10 years. It's certainly not nothing. No, that's pretty substantial. Uh, I mean, certainly enough to make you uncomfortable if you think about it. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but anything can happen. Uh, and that asteroid or meteor they're mentioning. Well, what if it hits Earth directly coming out of deep space at, at a speed that uh, is just, you know, too fast to I don't know to even pick up on. That's another issue altogether. Yeah. No, you're completely right. But I, mean, I think course, the chances idea are it yeah. would miss and it would cause some disruptions, which would cause this. I think the idea of the solar flare as opposed to an asteroid is that it would be far less predictable. Right. And, and the interesting thing is I did a little searching around online and NASA has actually issued similar warnings about their concern over these solar storms a few times in the last decade or so. And uh, it, it's not a new thing, although lately it seems that this this claim from them has gotten some more traction. Do you the thing I'm interested in is do you live your life differently? This the solar storm would be a random thing. It's not really predictable. But if you found out that we were a year and a half from an asteroid hitting Earth that was going to truly deal significant damage, do you live your life differently? What do you do in that year and a half? I would certainly live my life differently if it was going to be catastrophic. Yeah. And and we all knew it. <clears throat> certainly. I think uh, I think you you it would be wise to live your life differently. What would you do differently, though, specifically? Uh, I more of the things I want to do more of, see more of the things I want to see things like that. So then why aren't you doing that now? Well, right now, I have no evidence that something catastrophic is going to happen. It doesn't seem it. The ch chances are it seems like it's not going to happen anytime soon. So I just keep uh, I just keep going. All right. OK, fair enough. I mean, you know, there are some people who when they think about this, they say, oh, well, you know what? I don't have any real reason to put off doing the things I want to do now just because I don't have that fear specifically. Uh, it's very interesting. Different people I talk to react very, very differently to these questions.